His charm is so contagious, vaccines have been created for it. Years ago, he built a city out of blocks. Today, over 600,000 people live and work there. He is the only man to ever ace a Rorschach test. Every time he goes for a swim, dolphins appear. Alien abductors have asked him to probe them. If he were to give you directions, you'd never get lost, and you'd arrive at least five minutes early. His legend precedes him, the way lightning precedes thunder. He is... Random Man. The most interesting man in the world. R. P. M. Radio. Foreigner, cranking it up on a Friday night with the Yankee and the Brit. Hello, Brit. How you doing? Hey, how you doing, husband? Great. What you got cooking. Just great. Say hello to Friday. Oh, hi, Friday. Oh, I love Friday. Friday's the best day of the week, especially Friday night. We get to rock this joint. Baby. We went on a date today. We did, and we had one of the most awesome dinners I have ever had in my life. Go to Cheddar's and eat. I'm telling you. That shit is good. That sounds like Donald Trump. I'm and telling you. I couldn't you. decide whether to have ribs or whether to have steak. Oh. So I had like the half and half plate. And I didn't even eat half of it. You know, it's all still in oh, the kitchen. Oh, I know. <laughs> and those ribs so are so yummy. I had ribs and broiled shrimp, grilled shrimp. Oh, my God. There wasn't anything on that table that was bad tonight. I don't know if it was me and I was that hungry or if I just nailed it for a change. But Randy almost came in his I'm pants when he was you, eating man, that the shrimp. table started to lift up. <laughs> <laughs> he had the boner, boy. Bonage for that dinner. We got the great <laughs> Samo with us tonight, man. Nice to yes. see you here, Mr. Samo and old great white one, Lee Godfrey. How you doing? And Larry is here. And uh, Mr. Dave. Happy birthday, Mr. Dave. Larry. Happy birthday to you. Sam and the Norwegian Steve queen Fisher, is here. The pretty lady in the hat. The woo Norwegian woo. queen. I bow to you, thy queen. Joe. The Joe? Chef Hello, of Fox. Joe. He's there. Uh, what else we got going on over here? Dave, oh, Dave, oh. Dave wants a banana, but he's just a homo. Hi, Deborah. What's going on? Yeah, that's Deborah. Sneaking in the back door like that. I see you over there. We're going to rock this joint, man. Got some good tunes Samo to do said, uh, not Samo, uh, Sandy said. Hi, Rand Sandy. Randy has no panties on. Mm. You're right. And after that dinner, it blew him off, I'm telling you. That thing <laughs> was wicked. And that is not the end of it. I tell you, there's more to come. <laughs> and the smells over there. Mrs. Dave's in bed. Is she okay or just tired? Go and wet your willy and stick your, stick your willy in her ear. You probably worked her to death is what happened. Look at over there. Look. Look who just came in the door. Over there, oh. across the room. It's Bubba. Hey, Bubba. Bubba. Hey, come on in, man. Get a drink. Hey. Sit down. Relax a little bit. Take a load off. What's going on? You guys are here to rock. I knew it. I knew it. Mm. Have you been to Cheddar's, Dave? That friggin' food in this one over here is awesome. I don't know about any other one, but this one here just kicks ass. We can't. We've been there a number of times, and it's friggin' And I awesome. don't like ribs from anywhere, but I love them. Oh, they're so, the sauce was perfect. They were burnt. <whistles> the perfect crispness. Burnt around the... Oh, not like burnt to a crisp, but, but burnt perfection. Yeah, it's not even something you can put into words. It's oh, just badass. baby. It is like the baddest of the asses. How did you have that in there? Just like that. Oh, all right. I didn't want to crush it. Too much, man. There's Mrs. TR. What's going on over there? You guys are probably just about home, aren't you? Can't be too far away. Oh. Look at Dave, the posh one. I ate it one in Kentucky, and I was not impressed at all. Oh, with the that's place. too bad, man. Come Good on down here Dave. and try this He's one. He's such a brat. That's the thing, though, man. You, you, you know, they're not all going to be the same. I mean, you got different cooks in different places, but still, they're awesome. I love it here. This one is fantastic. I recommend it to anyone. It gets the RTM Radio Network and ten even star. Star. And even Billing. Mr. and Mrs. Jib Jab have been to Cheddar's with Yeah, us as well. they have, that's right. Yes. I know. Wish they'd come back. Chicken fried steak uh -oh. though. Chicken fried steak, what is that all about? Chicken fried steak? Yeah, it's, it's like chicken you... fried like a steak. No, it's not. It's steak <laughs> that's fried like a chicken. <laughs> Crazy. She just can't grasp that for some reason. You know, it's I just thought, breaded steak. I thought when I bought some I thought it was like you know, like chicken steaks, you know, I uh 
you know, some nice nice uh, chicken breast. See, Larry uh, likes it. Larry knows good food bread, when he eats breaded it. Breaded chicken breast. And when I got it, it was steak inside breaded stuff. And uh, Shannon's having a fit. Hell no, we ain't home yet. Mm-hmm. Or fuck no, she said. Well, you can't be that far away. Dave says, Cheddar's does not have the poster yet that says, do not serve this dick. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it'll be there soon. It'll be the first poster that they we'll ever We'll see if we can up. arrange that for you. <laughs> it shouldn't be, a, shouldn't be a problem anyways, because I know they don't serve dicks. They don't serve me at Jack in the Box anymore. <laughs> no, Randy is bored I from took care of that. <laughs> Jack in the Box. Well, there's a Cheddar's in McAllen. If we ever get down there to see Larry, we can uh, go there and eat. If we can just afford to leave the driveway, we'd be doing good. Oh. Anyways, we got some rock to do. I think we better get over here and do some uh, serious rocking because. Uh, that's so what you we know like what to do. to do, Dave. Rock out with your cook out. On that's Friday right. Night. And that's what we're going to do. Dirty White Boy, Foreigner, the Yankee and the Brit on a Friday night. Let's rock this joint, guys. This is what we're Oh, the lady of the 80s, Lover Boy. Takes me back to working in a radio station in Pennsylvania. God, I used to love that place was an all-automated station, but every once in a while, somebody would slip and put an album on and crank up some of these badass tunes and then get that phone call from the station manager. What's that shit playing? I didn't put that in the lineup. I said, whoops, sorry. It was in there somehow. It just started all on its own. Used to have a lot of fun doing that. How's everybody tonight, man? Friday, you're looking good, man. Always looking good. I love Fridays. You guys are having a good time. That's a big plus. So what's going on over here in the chat room? Anything well, exciting? Larry said it'll be 80 in July. Aww. Be 80? No way. Yeah. He's the cowboy of the 80s. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn, Larry. Well, Pop's still got you beat. He's 84. Almost 85 in October. He's kicking ass. I just noticed the other day now, I could start to see, you know, I don't know if a lot of you ever noticed that in your parents, if you actually see them getting old, or all of a sudden one day they just look older, but that's just the way it was for me, just all of a sudden, he just looks older all of a sudden, and he never did. I think it hasn't uh, got out the weed whacker or anything for his ears or any of that stuff. Have you noticed? They're like, (laughs) But I still love him to death. I don't care. Cranky old fuck. I know where I get it from anyways. Well, nice to see you guys over here with us on a Friday night. We're doing all this crazy shit, 724. Let's get over here and do some more uh, kick-ass rock because uh, we have to. It's 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 in our blood. Pat Benetton, Promises in the Dark, with the Yankee and the Brit, the RTM Radio Network. It's Friday, baby. Yes, sir. Oh, you are going to take it, and you're going to like it. You're going to like it like I like that cat. We- gonna take it anymore we got a cat now has moved we into the yard a here cat. and he was i went out to take a leak in the friggin pitch black rain last night and all i hear behind me is this creepy <laughs> boy he was talking up a storm and i don't know what he was trying to tell me but i wasn't listening because i was forcing out that piss and running back in the house because it sounded like he was ready to attack <laughs> I know. pet cemetery Look going on over here creepy bastard animals just appear here don't they <laughs> yeah i know what is it with that you know <laughs> christ we got the whole freaking zoo now all we need is that gorilla to come back to life and bounce around the yard I mean, Lil- lily's made. pretty cute uh, when we when i first got here the uh, there was a big dog called red um or sam um and him and lily Another were just dog we lost yeah what a him, shame. him and lily would just carry their dishes their their food dishes right across our yard across the road and into their owner's uh, property, and they would just sit there and wait for the food. The hey, bowls look, to be Pop! Filled. The neighbors filled up my dish. And then they would bring <laughs> the bowls over here, full of food. <laughs> and the dogs were just like thick as thieves, you know. They would, they, you know, one little the little Lily would come over and ask us for some food, and she would ask. She wouldn't just ask for food for herself. She would ask us to feed Big Red as well. And uh, they were just dead close like that. And now we've got a puddy tat. Yeah, I I hear you, Larry. I'm pretty sure he was hungry, but what the hell do you know? I don't have anything to give him really, and he sure as hell ain't getting any of my ribs. So oh, uh, we'll just come have to wait till we. Uh, I'm gonna get him something to eat. How I'm not gonna let him go can hungry. You, be? you can't give him none of your ribs. Well, I didn't have them last night you either. You are so hard. And he ain't getting none today. Give that cat your oh, ribs. Oh, mom now. will give him some friggin' food or something. I know where to steal a can of dog food. <laughs> I'll feed him. Don't you fret none about that. I'm Why glad he's around. Why don't you go and give us some of the bones from the I rib. want give him to stay. Give the pussy the bone. What? 
I want him to stay here. You do? Yes, it's good to have an outside cat around, and I have no problem with that. And I'm pretty sure he'll earn his keep, too. He's a creepy-looking dude. The mice will run, they'll just be scared of me. You know we got that friggin' big rat running around here somewhere. Mm. I don't know why. There's no garbage or nothing for him here, but there's a place for him to hide out there. But you wait. As long as that cat don't eat our onions. He was looking at your cock. (laughs) (laughs) Jeez, Larry. I've always wondered about that. You know, men in men's toilets, do men look at each other's willies when they're having a pee? Tell me, does that happen? Do you ever look at someone else's willy? No, I mean, that's not anything I made a habit out of. Not that I recall. If I have, it's been just a glance at it or an accident or something. What do you do like that? I'm not looking. Put your hand up like that. Well, it's not, not like you're standing willing. like shoulder to shoulder where you you know you can't help it. I don't know. I never have. I don't understand why you would have to. Really, I mean, I really don't care if it's big or long, white, short. Fails a difference. Just wanted to know. Oh well, ask somebody that knows it. Oh, see, Dave. <laughs> fuck no. <laughs> I just wondered whether guys do that. I don't care. I don't see what the big deal is. You know. Well, I was just asking because girls don't uh, stand up and piss him. There big he is. Your rhino. We got to give yeah. him a name. What are we going to call him? Dave. Anybody got a funky name for a gray, creepy cat? Colin. Colin? Colin. Dave Collins? <laughs> yeah. Should we call it Dave? Dave Hi. the cat? <laughs> the wanker. The wanker cat is here. <laughs> the wanker, wanker. <laughs> Look at him. He's pretty big, though, man. He ain't no little guy. <whistles> Yo, cat! Oi, pussy. Oh, no. I gotta keep him around, though. <laughs> did you? <laughs> no, Joe, I did not make eye, can- <laughs> eye contact with him because it's always been in the dark. This is the only time I've seen him in the daylight. He's always, he never comes, maybe, he maybe come right up maybe to Maybe he you. wasn't talking about the cat. Maybe he was talking about in the toilets. Maybe you're making oh. dick eye, eye contact. Oh, dick eye contact. Yeah, I see. Dick, that's the way I read it anyway. And no, Joe, I would not make eye contact with a guy next to me. Not unless I was that kind of guy. Weezer. <laughs> look at look at Chris Sachada's picture. Shithead. <laughs> look at his picture. That's just like the that cat That looks outside. like him, too. No, we can't call him shithead because uh, that's already been used. Um, Why don't we call the cat James? What's his name? Uh, what's his name? Called his dog shithead. Uh, the banjo player. Steve Martin. Remember the movie? Called his dog shithead. I can't use that. It's got to be something unique. James. You know, one of those ones you unique up on. Um, oh, Larry's talking about his dick. That's my property. It's not public. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Poppycock. <laughs> Coco. Why don't Weezer. we? Why don't we call the cat Bubba? <laughs> uh, Bubba the cat. <laughs> long as you don't make eye contact, it's not gay. I see. <laughs> hey, buddy, step back. Let me check out your fucking wank. Or let me. Uh, but don't, don't let look me, at me see its eye. <laughs> yeah, the jerk. That was the one. Don't look at me though. Nope. Don't look at me. <laughs> I just want to see your dick. <laughs> All right, how did we get onto this? How did we get onto this? Uh, you explain how we got onto this. I you started this. this, husband. You explain how we got onto <laughs> this, you wanker. You started it. <laughs> so what are we calling the cat Bubba? Um, I don't know. We'll have to, we'll just have to wait and see it, what is happens. Is it a boy or a girl cat? Go and see if it's got a willy without looking. <laughs> I won't make eye contact with a cat. <laughs> Let me see your dick. <laughs> I don't know. It's a cat. That means they're a pussy, right? I don't know. I want him to stay around, though. I kind of like him. It looks I, I miss Caesar. Maybe I can make friends with this guy like I did with Caesar. You know, when I met Caesar the day they brought him over, he wanted to rip my arms and legs off. Why didn't he? I, 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 I just he just liked me. Probably all of the a same. Sudden. Probably the same reason I didn't. I was about to as well. <sighs> You're such a twat. Okay. So, anyways, where were we over here? We are ready to rock. We got a request over. Mouth here. says, "Call him Wizard, because that's how you met." Wizard. <laughs> that's how we met. What? You want to explain that? Because you were whizzing. <laughs> well, then I ha ha, I have it. We'll call him Pisshead. <laughs> oh, you can't call a cat Pisshead. Why not? Don't be horrible. I like that. Hey, Pisshead. I used to have a cat called Donut. Didn't I, Michelle, if you're listening? What, do you have a hole I in I used them? to have a cat called Donut. No. I just uh, wanted like to give it a funny name. Well, that's what I want, so... Pisshead it is. Killer. No, when I see him kill something, I'll call him killer. You can't call a cat Pisshead. Why not? I love it. That's perfect for him. Hey, Pisshead! It's over there. 
I think he looks pregnant. I was looking at that cat yesterday, and I thought he, he looks looks pregnant. pregnant. I think she looks pregnant. I think he's not. <laughs> if it's a she and she's pregnant, she's out of here, because that ain't happening, not in this problem. And did you know your mom came over a few weeks ago and said to me, do you know anybody that's getting rid of any kittens? I was like, no. Oh, great. Well, it was about, probably about a month ago. I don't know. I walked in the house today to use the shitter, and there's my mom with the door wide open, sitting there reading the paper, taking a dump. It's like, couldn't you close the fucking door and lock it? <laughs> Jeez. I swear to God. <laughs> I didn't say Wizard wasn't a funny name. I think it's a perfect name, and it's a perfect example. Oh, look at the kitty. But I still like Pisshead. The kitty's washing itself. I wonder whether the cat's looking at its own Washing wrinkle. himself? It's been raining for two friggin' weeks. He ought to be clean by now. <laughs> I caught him in the shop out there the other night. Yeah. When it was raining, I stepped underneath the roof line there to have a leak, and all I heard was this. Like, get away from me, creep. Following me around. See, he probably likes me. Did you have a like look, see if he's got a collar yet? No, I didn't. He doesn't get cat. close enough. It's hard to. He doesn't just come right up to you. He's not like a friendly cat. We'll call him Felix. His name is Furball. Joe Feral. said. Furball. Joe said. No furball. How gay is that? Now that's gay. Somebody had eye contact, Joe. Yeah, but piss had stupid. I don't think so. It is. All right. I say we rock. That's what I say. Tom Cochran, does life this, is a does highway. Does this mean we've request? officially got a radio cat? <laughs> no, piss had the radio cat. <laughs> no. Yeah. Get you in the the RTM Radio, Radio Nitwits. Network. Right here at hey. your service on a Friday night. Hello, Friday, you beautiful thing. You so nice to be here with you tonight, honey. Sexy mm -hmm. Beast Friday. Yes, ma'am. Let's say hello to Clint Clinton. He's just on his way out of the chat room again. Clint He's Clinton? got loads of things to did do. Did you yeah. say Clint Clinton? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> <clears throat> Boy, you guys are chatting up a storm over here. I have no clue where he left off. Shannon, 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 Shannon. Ease up, girl. I oh, know, she's uh, she's yeah. on heat tonight. She's in a she? crazy mood, huh? She is. Look at this. Play me some goddamn music. <laughs> I want none of your music. I'll play my music. <laughs> Mom is still coming to touch my the way. What the hell are you talking about, Joe? I don't know what Joe wrote there. I just thought, whatever. Mom is still coming to TCH New York. <laughs> Look who is in the chat right at the very top. Haven't we got a song to sing to our Dave? We do. La, 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 we know la, he's been la, waiting. La, us. La, la. He's been waiting for this for over a year now. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to, to you. Happy birthday to you. Take it away, baby. Yay! Live from Bells, Texas. It's a rock and roll Friday night with Random Man and Donna on the RTM Radio Network. Network. Hey, look, Wizard the Cat's ears just went down. I'm listening to that. Look at his ears. Look, he didn't <laughs> kill him. It's the Larry Clock. Middle of the night, daytime. We got our Larry. In the morning, we have our Larry. And we right get our Larry wall. good. And Randy was shouting. And at guess the Larry what, Larry? We don't look either. <laughs> <laughs> the other day, you know, we was uh, was watching something online, and Randy was like, "Why is it every time I'm trying to watch something, Larry has to go off?" <laughs> Never fails, man. I'm telling you. Every nope. time I'd click on something that was really that I really was interested in, that friggin' clock would go off. Yeah, you don't want to go off any other time, but oh, when we're doing something That's important. That's probably about the only time he gets off. Yeah. <laughs> about once an hour, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Larry, we love you to death, buddy. <clears throat> Yankee and Brittany, RTM Radio Network. Joe, I didn't even know you were going, man. Just met a driver who's been out there for a total of four weeks. Father of four trying to make the adjustment. Had to do some positive reinforcement. Well, I hope you did all right, because I'll tell you what, that's a I rough gig. I said, in gig, other words, man. you talked him to death. That's a rough gig, though, really, when you first get started. 
And especially if you've never been away from home or never did anything like that. You know, I met guys over the years. Oh, I've never been from the house. I've always lived in the same town and never moved anywhere and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, and I was like that for a long time when I was young. So I can understand because before I, you know, as soon as, as soon as we all graduated, God, four or five guys I know from, from high school went to Florida. And, you know, over time, I'd think, and even my, uh, I had a, my ex-best friend now, I can call him that comfortably, um, we had a sign business together, and he took off and went to Florida, too. Of course, he robbed me in the process, but that's another story. But he went to Florida, and over the years, I started thinking, man, these guys all took off, and they went there, and they did this, and he lived in sunny Florida, and blah, 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 and here I am, still in Ohio, and blah, 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 and, you know, eventually I took off, and I moved to Cleveland a little further away from home, and then I, uh, you know, got into trucking, and that for I'm telling you, man, that first fucking week or two of being getting in the truck and just taking off, all of a sudden you realize I'm like thousands of miles away from home. I'm just not going to go home and crawl in my bed tonight. That ain't happening. You know, you lay in the back and you toss and you turn and you get stomach aches and you miss your family and a good meal and TV and whatever, you know. Blah, blah, blah. You choose it. Yeah, maybe in that guy's case, you know, he misses his kids and all that, but. Uh, you know, if I had kids, I don't think I'd, I would have, I don't know. Ben was, Ben was born, I think. I'd started trucking before Ben was born, I think. Kind of maybe right in there somewhere, but it was, uh, it was, it was strange at first. Of course, I, I'm a terrible father as far as that went, but that's a whole other story in itself too. Anyways, Joe, I'm glad you did some, uh, hope you did some good with that guy. That's, that's the main thing because it is rough regardless of, uh, how the industry itself is that has nothing to do with people in general. Anyways, I don't know how this got into the mix over here, but it's a request. Guess it's time to get up and do the dance. Michael Jackson and Thriller with the Yankee and the Brit, the RTM Radio Network. That's the way to do it. The Doors, an L.A. woman, the Yankee and the Britney, RTM Radio Network, 918, baby. The Rock is rolling tonight, man. I love it. Got some ZZ Top, Journey, Slob Beager, Rindersella, uh, something to believe in from Poison by request from Mrs. Dave, a bare naked lady tune from Mr. Dave. And now we're going to hit it up with some ZZ Top. Legs with the RTM Radio Nitwits. Oh, hello Friday, baby. You are looking good. Go where you wanna go. Totally for sure. For sure. Well, if it doesn't have anything, baby, it's got the beat. I'll tell you what, that would make me dance. That's I like that kind of stuff. I don't mind throwing one in here at all, man. It's pretty good stuff. Nice of you to show up on time, John Rooney, as always. Isn't he always the best at showing he up? He is. He's just the best. I know. you got to love the guy. You can't beat it. And he's got some great photography, too. Yes. You guys didn't know it. He's got a photography page. Yes, you should check yes, it out. Yes. John is the man, and you don't even realize it. Take some damn nice pictures, too. Stop playing around with that damn Photoshop and just take the pictures. People always messing up photos with Photoshop. Remember when everybody started doing that? Seen some beautiful photos, and then they take and they change everything around. It's like, why can't you just leave it alone? My friend Teresa takes some gorgeous, gorgeous pictures, and then she goes and fucks with it with Photoshop, and um, and she does she does make them look gorgeous. Don't get me wrong, but it's not like the original photo. It's, I'm all for the original photo. Some of my favorite photos too are in black and white. And I don't mean the new black and white, the old black and white. The new black and white just doesn't... It, it's nice. I like it. I love black and white photos. There's not as many around as you would think. You can find them if you go look for them. But uh, there's, there is a difference between the new and the old, but I just like black and white sometimes. I think it just adds a little... You know, makes life easier when it's just black and white. <laughs> Out of all those different colors to choose some. I know it's all photoshopped. It still looks nice, though. You're getting better and better all the time. But I'm I just, just one for the original photo. I always have been. I've always loved photos. Absolutely loved them. I, I would like to learn to use Photoshop. I don't have it. I've never had any need for it, really. But it would come in handy with occasional signs and printing and things. But not an... I mean, Corel works great for what I do. 
and I'm no expert, but I'm pretty well versed in Corel enough I can get around it and do. And I've had it, been using it for years, and there's just so much stuff in there. I don't think I'll ever learn to use all of it. My needs just don't require every little dinky thing that it can do. But it, when I do need something, I just go look up how to do it and I make it happen. So I'm just a Corel guy, that's all. But it's also way cheaper than Photoshop, too. But that's just me. What do I know? Yankee and a Brit for a request by Mrs. Dave. Poison. There's plenty of things to believe in if you just believe. Yankee and the Brit, the RTM Radio Network. What's this over here now? People are dying? Oh, Dave was talking about that guy and he's talking about prayers. And I said, I don't pray. So pray for this, pray for that, pray for your uncle's friends, brother's fucking dog. I says, you guys must be permanently on your knees. <laughs> you if guys you go must before be praying. me, I'm definitely going to pray <laughs> just to make you come back. <laughs> you guys must be bloody... <laughs> You must pray for about three hours every night after everything that you see on Facebook every day. You really want to live till 98, Larry? Oh, I don't want to. I, you know, Dad is 84, and if I make it to, if I make it to fucking 74, I'll be happy. Be honest with you, I don't see it happening. But I don't want to make it to even 50 or 60. Oh, oh yeah, 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 I yeah, 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 yeah. I told you I don't. Oh, I don't. Damn. I would have wanted to. You know, when I'm gone, you can do what you want. But until then, just stay here and keep me company, will you? <laughs> You're all I got. Good God. John's shooting for 100. Oh, my gosh. Screw that. Why would you want to be alive till you 100? I can't imagine why anybody want to be alive. At 100 years old, you can't do anything. What do you need to just sit and look around and look at things? And look forward to shopping day. You know, it's very rare anybody lives to 100 that's totally mobile and capable of just living in everyday life. That is a rarity, and you better be from China or Japan or somewhere. Like Shannon, I won't live past 50. <laughs> Not with the stress of being in a truck all the time. That's crazy, man. Well, that's me, uh, Chris. I don't want to wake up either. When, when I lay down, when my turn comes, man, I want to lay down and just not wake up. I don't know anything about it, you know. Randy, 74, Donna, 54, she can get some more dick. <laughs> I told her that. I said, when I'm gone, you can go get something new. And she's like, I don't want nobody else. I've fucking had enough of you as it is. Fuck, yeah, I'm off. I don't want no bloody more husbands. <laughs> <laughs> uh. And I say that in the, and, I, and that, that kind of comes out so rude, actually. But I don't want any more husbands, you know. Randy's my one, you know, all these years, I've, you know, I've uh, wanted to someone like Randy to annoy me and here I have I've got him you know and uh, I don't want anybody so else. I guess after all my uh, attempts I uh, fourth time lucky <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, sometimes I'm kind of touched that she thinks that way because I didn't think anybody ever think that about me and it's hard to deal with sometimes it's like why in the fuck me of all people would anybody want to spend their whole life with me and nobody else what are you nuts you know I still have a hard time figuring out what the hell it is she sees but it's it's great. It's very comforting, actually, in a way. But I'm still getting over it and getting used to it. You know, I'm getting used to having somebody here with me all the time, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You know, because she, just so many reasons that she's here, and you know, I'm still getting used to that. But I lo the more I get used to it, the more I like it. It's it's a very comforting thought. You know, so I think it's a I think this is it. That's the final. It's the final countdown. Look at that, Dave's anniversary in 13 days. Unbelievable. We better, we got about 13 minutes left. We got one more tune I want to do, and then uh, we might sneak one more in, and we're going to get out of here. Honeymoon Sweets! Cranking it out and winding it up for the Friday night with a Yankee and a Brit. We rock this joint. We love you guys. You're the best there ever was. Thanks for coming by. Donna, say goodnight, love. Night, love. All right, we are out of here. We'll see you tomorrow night for the country night. You guys take care of yourselves and uh, party hardy. That's all I can say is party hardy. Gee, Rant, what are we going to do today? Same thing we always do, Brit. Try and take over radio. The Yankee, the Yankee and the Brit. Brit. The Yankee and the Brit. Brit. One is a genius, the other's a twit. On the radio, the jeans have been spliced. 
the Yankee, the Yankee and the Brit, 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 Brit. Before the show is done, the killing will have begun by the end of the show. The heads will explode. The Yankee and the Brit, the Yankee and the Brit. The ranting campaign can never be explained. To prove the radio work, they'll take over the earth. The Yankee, the Yankee and the Brit, 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 Brit. Don't.